Hey guys, I'm Shyam Bope from Sky Studio. So in this video, we are going to model the eye of our character and also you can use this method for any stylus character you make. And in my last video, I finished the head and the ears. So if you're new here, make sure you watch the part one, two and three videos to catch up. So you can download the reference images. I used to model this character in the link below as well. And if you like to buy the fully rigged model, you can get it from skylarglobal.com. Link in the description for that as well. I'll be uploading a lot of videos, so make sure you smash that subscribe button to get notified when I upload the next video of the series. You can also upload your progress in the Facebook group and have discussion so link in the description for that as well. Alright that's it let's get on with the video. Alright so we're gonna start by adding a UV sphere shift A UV sphere and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis and with shift A I'm gonna apply all transforms and zero out everything as in the rotation, the location, and scale, all of that. Now I'm going to get into side view with 3 in the numpad, tap into edit mode, with Alt Z get to extra select mode and select these words and with Shift D duplicate them. Now with S, Y, minus 1, I'm going to flip it the other way and uh, move it inside our sphere with G and Y and drag it a bit closer towards the wireframe and I'm going to select the middle word C in the sphere and control plus select proportional editing over there in the top and and from the mouse wheel I'm going to scale the circle down and with G I'm going to pull the front forward a bit and with control 2 I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and we have something that looks like this now Right click to shade smooth, press 1 in the numpad, select everything with A and with G, okay, deselect proportional editing and with G move it to our side. And now I'm going to add a mirror modifier, in the modifier stack, add modifier, mirror modifier. Maybe drag a little bit more closer like that and let's go to the shading tab. Create a new material, move the principal shader down a bit and add a gradient texture. And also make sure you go to edit preferences and enable the node wrangler add-on. Now just select the node and control shift left click. You will get a viewer node with an emission shader. So you know what's going on in the texture. And with control T I'm going to add a mapping and a texture coordinate node and plug the object into the mapping node. And change the Z rotation to 90 degrees. So now if I change the view, we'll have a gradient that looks like that. So that's what we're going for. Now I'm going to add a color ramp and plug it in between the gradient node and the material output. Now with the black value, I can control the gradient and with the white, I can just sharpen the edges between those two. Now I'm going to add a mix shader and plug the color in the color ramp into the mix factor. And plug the principal BSDF shader into the mix shader and decrease the roughness to about zero. Yeah, zero. And uh, I'm gonna add a transparent shader and plug it into the mix shader as well. Control Shift and switch these two sockets. So you'll have to switch to cycles to see the transparency. Switch to cycles and you guys can see. But we need this to work in EV as well because we'll be working in texture view mode. So go to material settings in viewport display settings, change the blend mode to alpha hashed and the shadow mode to alpha hashed as well. Now I'm going to add a glossy shader and a fernal shader and uh, add another mix shader to uh, connect these together and use the fernal node as the factor and decrease the roughness of the glossy shader and this is what actually the fernal looks like so I'm gonna plug the factor into the factor and we have our shader. Now I'm gonna tab back into edit mode and uh, hide the cornea and select the iris and add a new material to it maybe a black material for now just leave it like that and I'm going to the modify tab and I'm going to switch this on so that I can see the vertices. I'm going to create a new material. Select the corners of the iris and uh, control plus twice and assign the material and make it a bluish color. I'm going to tap out of edit mode and select the cornea material again. Go to the color ramp and 
drag the sliders until I feel like it's sharp enough. So I'm gonna check from the front view as well. Drag the sliders a bit more and okay, it's starting to look good. Yep, that looks good for me. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna select all the materials and name them Coronia Pupil and the Iris. And I'm gonna delete the principal shader in the pupil and add a diffuse shader. Plug it over there and make it black. Tab into edit mode and select everything with A and press U, select unwrap. And in the UV editing, you should have something that looks like that. And go to shading tab, add a Warner texture and control shift to get the viewer texture. And with control T, I'm gonna add a text coordinate and a mapping node. Plug the UV into the vector and left click and drag down in the location and make it minus 0 0.5 and with shift D I'm gonna duplicate the mapping node and put it in between these two nodes and change the Z scale to about 15 and make the type to normal and you should have something like that okay it's starting to look like an eye so you can actually play with the scale and get something whatever you want so I'm gonna leave it at 15 now I'm gonna add a color ramp Put it over there and uh, I'm also gonna add a gradient texture. Control T to add the mapping and the texture coordinate node. And plug the UV into the vector in this as well. And now I'm gonna change the gradient texture to spherical and I'm gonna add another color ramp in between that. And I'm gonna change the location in the mapping node to 0.5 drag the sliders in the color ramp a bit closer and add another point in the middle and change the color no to black in that and change the color to blue actually the color should be black in the corner one and make it blue in the middle one now i'm gonna add another gradient texture and and i'm gonna make it radial and i'm also gonna add a noise texture and put it in the front of our gradient texture add another color ramp and drag the colors a bit closer and control T mapping and texture node coordinate node plug the UV into the vector and make the location 0 0.5 and if you play with the scale okay there's something wrong with this uh, 25 okay I think this should, the location of the mapping node should be minus 0 0.5 and yes it is minus 0 0.5 i think it should be the same in the top one as well so it's minus 0 0.5 okay and now if you plug it with control shift you can see the nodes what's happening actually and now i'm gonna plug a mix shader here as well and plug the color actually i'm gonna switch these slots and i'm gonna play with the factor a bit and change it to multiply and make the factor to about 0.7 and i'm gonna drag this black slider a bit and yeah that looks good for me so now i'm gonna add another mix rgb node and put it in between like that and plug the color the color the color over there and I'm going to change the mix to color dodge over here like that and I'm going to plug the color delete that plug the color to the base color and there you have it and we can also decrease the roughness if we want and we can also change the color from over here to anything you want and just for Kratos, in some cases I used an emission shader instead of our principal shader so I could get that glowing effect from the eyes like that. So yeah, you can do that as well. So if you create this scene, tag me on Instagram so I can see your work and leave some feedback as well. So follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting more of my work before I upload on YouTube. And what kind of tutorials do you want me to make next? So whatever you want, let me know in the comments below, I'd love to know. So I have a lot of videos like this in my channel, so you guys can check them out as well. So if you want to create a scene like this, click here. And if you want to watch this animation loop playlist, you can click here. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Peace.